a lot of my followers and my subscribers have been asking, well, here you go. Hashtag, where's Kate? And before I do that, please make sure if you're not following me, make sure you subscribe to me and follow me. And also leave a comment and please like this video and let's get to it. And the reason I even decided to do a video like this is because of this tweet right here. For two years, I heard nonstop we have a right to harass and speculate about Meghan Markle because we pay for her. But here we are, four years after she left, you guys still can't stop talking about her. The princess you do pay for is missing in action for months now and has been given all the privacy Meghan literally begged for when she was pregnant and struggling with suicide ideation. It was never about being working royal. It was always about racism, anti-Americanism, and classism. And the moment I saw that tweet, it has been hashtag where's Kate. So no conspiracies, but we can ask questions. Not your rights to privacy. In this case, the Mail on Sunday ran the whole kitchen sink defense. They threw everything in. Things like um, Megan's not entitled to any privacy because she's a member of the royal family. So about a Daily Mail standards, here we go. The fact is, we literally have nothing, I mean nothing, but very vague statements. And do you not think there is a coincidence that King Charles has keep, been keeping us completely updated and in the loop about his progress? No, he has not revealed what type of cancer it is, and he has not revealed the stages of which it is, but he has been keeping us up to date and being very public but he has made numerous appearances to show that, well, like the queen said, you have to be seen to be believed. For a couple, especially Kate, for someone who's very aware of how she appears and someone who is very cooperative of the whole Royal Rota, there hasn't been one photo. I would think there would be a photo of maybe Kate waving or even a personal letter to her supporters now it is not to say that there is something serious going on i don't know um she had they said she had abdominal surgery so i'm gonna go with that until now and also the fact that we had these photos of pippa where pippa was seen at a the saint bart's beach and she looks pretty happy so these celebratory photos indicate to me that this is not that serious or she is okay However, the same publications criticized Meghan and Harry for not acknowledging publicly Kate issues, which I don't understand because did Kate acknowledge or speak out against any of these articles? Remember, Meghan was pregnant during the height of a lot of the attacks she was receiving when she was in the royal family. Like this slow drip right here with the whole AIDS and her her being Hurricane Megan with a palace aides. Did Kate Middleton speak out against Piers Morgan and his colleagues with their a character assassination of Megan? No. Hashtag where's Kate? Did Kate Middleton speak out against these ridiculous, stupid, petty articles about avocados and feeling murder and drought? No. Hashtag where's Kate? Keep in mind, guys, I'm gonna keep repeating this. Megan was pregnant during this time. And as someone who had troubles with difficulties with her pregnancies, you would think Kate would speak out and be supportive. But hashtag, where's Kate? Did Kate speak out during the whole Duchess difficult storyline? No. Hashtag, where is Kate? Did she speak out against what literally started this whole attack and character, just the assassination of Meghan? with the whole bridesmaid thing. Did she speak out and they give the more, more nuance or just completely just say it didn't happen? Just lie like the palace normally do. She didn't do that with a pregnant Megan at the time. So hashtag, where is Kate? And we definitely know she didn't speak out against the racism from the media, the social media, all walks of life, especially when they were on high alert of what was going on. So did she, she definitely didn't do that. And again, hashtag, where's Kate? And even today, here they go. Another stupid article that has no relevance of anything. It's just nothing. They're talking about stupid stuff like this, but hashtag where is Kate? It will be easy for me to speak about the things that the Spanish reporter is saying about Kate. That is so easy. It would be so easy for me to spend several videos if I wanted about possible this whole narrative on social media that William is preparing the whole world for his separation from Kate. I can easily do that based off of absolutely nothing, but I could if I wanted. 
It is so easy for me to do those things, yet I choose not to indulge into that type of rhetoric because I know the effects that it has had on Megan and the people who support her, including myself, the whole everything. But yet, I still feel that I have the right to say and ask the questions that these journalists should be asking. Hashtag, where is Kate? What is going on with Kate? Progress. Is she okay? Because you know why? That is what you guys did to Megan for years and still continue to do. And based off of the things you have said previously about Megan not being an English rose that you wanted Harry to end up with, I'm assuming this is the English rose that is the perfect, perfect person or someone like this. I see a lady, a person who has just allowed someone else to get attacked and with that person getting attacked, her likability, so they say through polls, have risen. I see someone who before Megan was someone who just didn't live up to the hype when she first married into this royal family. Someone who really didn't show any type of enthusiasm in what I guess they expected her to be based off of previously Diana. The British media can keep trying to re rewrite history and change this narrative to fit their agendas and this whole invisible contract, but we know the truth. Kate was considered lazy, her and William, and very boring, but they still are boring. This whole idea that she deserves privacy, everyone deserves privacy, but you did not, you did not allow that type of narrative to be had when Meghan was in the fold. So because of that, Everything that anyone is saying or questioning about what's going on with Kate, I think is very valid. Do I think that the conspiracy theories are okay? No, I do not. So that's why I'm not indulging in them. But I have questions. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what is happening. And I want to know why are they hiding so much? To be honest with you, I feel that everything that people project onto Megan, all the negative stuff, is really just a mirror or a way of saying that is Kate and William, and Charles, and Camilla. And this idea that Charles has been, him and William are just such a bonded and, and are very close. They've been briefing against each other this entire time. And you don't think that it was by accident that Charles has been releasing all of these videos, all of these photos, all of these messages, all of these statements during a time where he knows Kate is going through something as well. You don't think that is on purpose and you don't think that's a form of shade. You have another thing coming. So again, nothing against a woman, but hashtag where's Kate? We need to know.